It really is quite early in the morning. I don't even know, I feel a bit, I don't know if you can see that, this camera. Um, well, oil. It's five o'clock, I've been up quite early. I don't know, you probably can't see that. Hang on. 13 degrees. With a relative humidity of 65%. And before I, before I go out for a walk this morning. God, it's freezing. <laughs> it's not like summer at all. I'm going to make myself a hot cup of coffee because I just feel like one. And I'm going to be looking at doing some train, catching up on my training today so today's going to be a training day but um, I've switched what I've been doing around oh, right. uh, yeah so now I'm going to go downstairs and make myself a nice hot cup of coffee Yeah, the milk one's not been. Oh. As you can see, pretty damn dark. Although this camera gives off quite a nice orange glow. If you don't stir this coffee enough, it's, um, it's lumpy. It's um, Kenko. Cafe latte, but on the thing it just says um, it's normally in a box. So I just take the chassis out and you know do it that way. <clears throat> this is a great British tradition: tea and biscuits. And now I'm going to indulge myself in tea and biscuits. Mmm. <sighs> down the computer while I go out so oh. it's out of the way oh Ugh. I've got a blister on my foot and I'll show it to you but um <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's something particularly you might watch Anyway, <coughs> I'm out going out. Don't ask, they look scary. 
never noticed before it though. Looks like a black hole down there, doesn't it? An abyss. Let's go down and see what we can see. Not much really, is there? Can you see me? Probably too dark. Really is too dark. Um, I got carried away. <laughs> Mm, just mulling over what to have for breakfast, I'm not sure. <coughs> Let's have a look what we've got in here. <sighs> I don't think I'll be needing them. Ah! Yeah! I think I'll have them. Scott's paid, eh? My uh, poor attempt at a Scottish action. Let me try again. Yeah. I think I've had some pudding, eh? It won't be up in the morning. That sounds a bit harsh, doesn't it? Oh, it, it won't be up in the morning. So it does. Yeah, oatmeal, woo. Get it in. Now, you may think, oh, there's not, um, there's not an exact science to oatmeal, but there is. It's a very articulated process, you see, because you've got your porridge oats here, and the second ingredient is liquid. That now, the, the thing about the liquids um, uh, to ratio of porridge is... It's a very important thing. So, when you're making your porridge, you see, you've got quite a bit in there. Now, if you've got not enough liquid with your porridge, there we go. Put the cap on. And there's a the fridge. Yes, now it's the same. You've got to get a steering implement to, um, if the ratio of the porridge. And now, we have to put it in the microwave. If there is too much. See, in here, we've got more liquid than we have porridge. So I'm going to close the door and cook for approximately three minutes. And there is the porridge in the microwave being cooked for approximately three minutes. Here then, where the uh, porridge is being cooked in the microwave, I'm going to walk around and ruffle in a silly English voice like you used to in the war. You know? When the German aeroplanes were coming over, and attacking us. Wah, wah, wah. See, this is the uh, premise of the people who um, think about British people and how they speak. But we don't always speak about it. And we have English tea, yes, in the afternoon. And we have elevenses. That's a cup of tea with some biscuits and a cake, if you like.